Okay, so welcome to yet another part of making a dancey cakey. This next part is just, I'm going to clean up the, uh, the vertexes a bit, add a few more, take a few more away from the cakey face body, and then we'll move on to another part. Okay, so next we need to make some icing. So I'm just going to select the top part of the cakey face body and extrude it once. And then all icing has like a little flimpy part at the back. So we'll make that simply by extruding some more and then, you know, pulling some vertexes around and, and shaping it very simple. Uh, and this is just more basic modeling. Thank you. 
look at the particles. As you see, I had separated the flame from the candle. Uh, we're gonna put it back on because basically I can put a glowing texture, uh, uh, a supper material on the candle flame part and make it glow and then add um, a little bit of particle afterward. The candle itself will be using spring bones, but we'll do that at the end when I'm rigging other things, well near the end, uh, before we import it into iClone. So after I finish the candle and the kicky face body, uh, we can then start painting this mess. Now we've done our candle, next we need to finish the inside of the mouth, so we'll work on that next. More simple modeling, so let's go! suddenly the front is cleaner. That's because I did a bunch of cleanup on the vertexes, which is just so boring. And my uh, my software forgot to record it or I didn't press the button right or whatever. Anyhow, the information is missing, but it's just was making sure the vertexes were all lined up at, at a certain depth. And so that's really boring and stuff. So the next thing we will work on will be like the teeth and whatnot. So let's get started on that. As you can see that uh, I have seams all over the place. I like them because they help me to hide the parts that I don't want. So after hiding like the eyes and the legs and whatever, we can now hide the parts of the mouth and uh, then work easier on the inside for the gums and teeth. I'm 
gonna try a slightly different approach. Um, usually I use cylinder for the gums, but I'm gonna use a piece of the roof of the mouth or whatever and see if that works. I may make a mess of it and I may end up using a cylinder, but hey, you know, like I'm trying, like to try new things all the time. So let me try that. individually because that would be a pain in the rear. So let's do it.
did make a second pair of gums, but we will just mirror these ones and you'll notice that I'm having to drag stuff around and the front of the mouth is rather flat and square, but we can fix all that, hopefully. So let's get on with our experiment of using the roof of the mouth for the, the gums and whatnot. So what I've done here is I cut off like one half of the gum, mirrored one side, then I uh, mirrored it again uh, on the Z axis. So I mirrored it on the X axis, uh, applied it, then I decided to take the entire mess and mirror it again on the Z axis for the second set of gums that are at the bottom of the mouth, which makes it match easier. So now we'll just join up all the teeth, duplicate them and mirror them in the z-axis and rearrange them on the bottom. Um, we'll probably delete some and move some around. We'll take a look at this. We'll just do it as we go. Thank you. 
squeaking, we gotta get the gums to fit inside the mouth and the teeth the right way, and I don't think my experiment was particularly successful, so I think I'll probably go back to cylinders next time. which I have thought about and I've decided that I don't like the way the upper lid goes like that so we're gonna change that next because as usual I like to change my mind when I think over things so let's fix that modeling goes finally uh, unless I change a few things later on which I probably will uh, now we are going to move on to the UV mapping however you'll notice that I have like 117 different materials in the end I only want three or four so what we're gonna do is when we map it we're gonna lay it out um, can, in, taking into consideration that on uh, the texture layer uh, the, the islands will be uh, you know laid out in a certain way even though we have all those materials I want all those materials there because it's easier for painting in uh, 3d code I can hide things and what not easier it seems to, it, the way, that's kind of the way it works so then we will uh, but we'll lay out the final layout of the islands uh, where we would want them if it was only uh, you know a whole bunch of things on one material layer so that's what we'll do next and then we can start painting I think mm -hmm. 